and bam. Oh my god, it works. And get you out of my What's going on everybody, Dragust here, and welcome back to some more Besiege. So yes, we're doing another Besiege video this week, only because the game has been updated with five new maps for us to play on Tolbert. Uh, basically, after the tornado, we got a bunch of new ones to do now, so I'm excited because it's been forever since they've released new maps for us to play. So I'm really curious to see if there's anything unique about these. Uh, we're going to go right into it. I'm actually going to build all the creations that we need to, uh, which I'm worried about because it's been a long time since... Uh, what the hell is this? Since I created anything. So there's just a question mark. And, well, it's called Odd Odd Contraption, so I'm not surprised. It's looking like it's some sort of wheel that I might have to turn. That's immediately what I'm getting at, but I don't know. Let's just get into this. We'll build something really quickly and see what the hell this thing does. Okay, nothing too crazy now, only because I have no idea what the hell is to expect with this thing. I'm just going to... I'm not even going to make turning wheels yet. We're just going to go right over there and see... Does anything happen? Ah, interesting. So yeah, I guess I'm going to have to turn this wheel. That's the only thing I can understand. And god damn, that's going to be actually kind of difficult to do. Okay, initial idea is to just make some sort of piston contraption here. That way I can actually just kind of play around with it. I'm thinking actually this might do just fine like this. And I did add some tank tracks as well. Again, I don't really go for the complex designs. I just go for ones that actually work. So... Let's see here. Oh, yeah, there we go. This is exactly how you're supposed to do it. And, of course, my fucking wheel fell off. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh come on. Come on. Okay. Well, at least I understand how to do this now. You just got to keep rotating. Is there any uh, better way to do this? I'm thinking, I feel like I just got to reinforce this a bit. Because uh, there's really no way... I guess I could attach something to it and pull it back and forth. But I think this piston idea is probably the best idea. Okay, so I have reinforced my craft a little bit. Uh, didn't really change anything. I still got the same strategy here. Basically, just rotate this thing back and forth, take my time with it, and hopefully my craft doesn't break. Okay, so there we go. Just light taps, light taps. I don't want to break anything. Let's re reset that, back up a bit, and go into it a different way. Actually, now that it's over here, it's going to be very difficult to rotate this. Can I just kind of nudge it? Oh, my God. Okay, so wait. This is why I did pistons, though, because it adds a little bit more uh, to this thing. So if I make this go really sideways and then pull this around a little bit. Oh, my God. This is going to take forever. <laughs> okay, something like that. And then just boop it. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, so I can definitely do this with this creation. It's just going to take freaking forever. And now it's too high up, so we just do that, and boop, look at that. I love how simple this design is, but it's totally going to do it. And extend, and oh, oh, it goes right through it, so I, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, this isn't good. Okay, so I'm just going to have to play with it a little bit more. I didn't realize that if you extend these and it hits in between where the spring is, it goes right through things. Okay, this hit might do it right here. I'm gonna boop the hell out of it. Oh my god, so damn close. Now I just gotta back up, straighten this out, and uh, we should be good right here. So extend and boop. Done! Yes! <laughs> it only took me freaking almost four minutes to rotate that a couple times. But very simple creation to do that, and it did work out. So next zone, let's see what it is. Okay, Poison the Well. This is actually a band I used to listen to, uh, which is pretty interesting. I don't know how I'm supposed to poison the well. Is it as easy as just... Oh, what the hell? Okay, so these guys are running away and throwing down their pots. But I feel like all I need to do is maybe boop that little bucket and then it's going to poison it? I don't know. Oops, sorry, chicken. Let's get this thing as close as we can. I'm actually kind of stuck on it. This... Okay, definitely, there's something going on here. I'm... What am I stuck on? Oh, my God. What? Did I do it? The hell just happened? Well, the bucket's down there, but it's not poisoned. I'm liking these new things. It doesn't really explain it to you. You actually got to figure it out. Is it... Oh, this is poison over here. Yes, so I got to grab this and drop it in there. I can probably use my current creation and just alter it a bit to uh, move this forward. And uh, put a grabber on top, and it should work just fine. 
I mean, I know people want to probably see these amazing creations, but I am a firm believer at keeping things as simple as possible. So there we go, we got the same idea here, except it's going forward. So now we just got to attach one of these things to myself. I'm actually curious, can these like poison people? I don't know what these, oh, oh, come on. There we go, a little closer. Bam, oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Okay, and lift it up. There we go. Simple as that. And time to go over to the well. Okay, I don't exactly know how I'm supposed to poison it. I obviously got to break this thing, but I also... Oh, there we go. Okay, so <laughs> I broke the well. Now I think I can just drop it down there, and hopefully it's good. Oh, oh, forward, forward. No, oh, oh. yes! <laughs> oh, I got to get two? God damn it. Okay, well, there you go. Drop another one down there, and... <laughs> We're done. I'm loving how this simple creation has done almost half of the new levels already. I'm hoping some are a bit more complex than this, because that one only took me a damn minute. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? What? Destroy 90% of the cannons. I'm thinking a spinning design is going to work great here. Let's see what happens, though. Do these things... Yeah, yeah, they, def they definitely shoot you. Okay. So, we not only need something that can do a lot of destruction really quickly, but we also see, need something that's quite reinforced, that way it doesn't break immediately. Oh, this one's gonna be a little more confusing. Okay, so I came up with this idea. Basically, it's just a bunch of pistons randomly placed. Hopefully, it can expand out enough to kill all of these things. That's really my first idea here. I have no idea if it's gonna work or not. If it does, I feel really bad, because this is just another simple idea. Anyways, done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at that, that's so damn cool though. I didn't think that would work at all, but definitely uh, pistons are my friend in this game, I'll tell you that much. Okay, I'm a little worried I'm gonna do all these zones so damn easy. Extinguish Sacred Flame. Okay, so yeah, we get to use some damn water cannons now. So I can either make something that can fly, I can make something that can reach up there. Do it, can, can, can I, I wonder if I can just break it down and then it falls and then I can extinguish it on the ground as well. I think I'm going to try something like that. Maybe break this down, drop it on the ground, then just have a little water cannon to extinguish it. Okay, what I'm going to try and make at the start here is one of those wall climbers that we've actually seen on Friday's episode. Uh, just something very small that can stick to the ground and uh, hopefully that will work out well here. Okay, so here is my first idea here. Unfortunately, without modding, you can't really have these things extremely small. Now, this one's as small as I could get it with four fans. I'm hoping that is actually enough fans. Let's go over here and uh, just see what happens here. If, if I could make a wall climber, I would be so damn happy. Okay, so, oh, oh, wow. It's actually sticking to the ground here. Oh, Oh, it's working! <laughs> I did not expect this at all! I, I thought I would have to mod the fans to make it go fast enough. But it's looking like if I can just finick around here, I don't even know if that's a word, I can probably, oh my god, yes! Come on, climb this thing! I, I don't know how to break it though, that's the one problem. Oh, 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 <laughs> okay. Well, I think, I think I'm on to something here. I might need a few pistons to push some things around though. So I'm trying to find a way up here, but honestly, it is so damn difficult to climb this thing, mainly because of these spikes right here. You see these things that are protruding out that are dropping water? I cannot get over those without doing this, essentially, flying away. Now, I don't know what else I can do. I, what I really just want to do is break these two pillars. I don't know how I can go about it, though, without getting up at least a little bit higher. It's so close, it's bothering me. Like, look at how frigging close I am to getting past. But those things, there's just, I don't think there's any way. I thought they would just break if I ran into them, but I don't think they will. So I might have to go to the back to the drawing board with this, but I really wanted this awesome design to work. I guess I could try and fly and crash into it. That'd be cool, too. Are you serious? Am I... How, how does that even happen? I got stuck on the freaking rock. Can I push myself off? Oh my god. Like, I am seriously stuck on this thing. What the hell? Okay, let me see if I can just... Oh man, this thing it does not want to break. This bottom part, yeah, I'm gonna have to get up to those pillars to even have a chance. I'm so close. It's, it's, it's so frustrating, this. I probably should have designed something better. And now I broke. 
Okay, let's try this out. I actually am going to utilize my fan still to keep this thing on the ground because it's going to be so damn top heavy. Like, for example, if we move around here, you get the idea. It is extremely top heavy, but if I put these on, it's definitely a little more better and easy to control. So if we go over here, I think this might work. We might get lucky here. It's still really hard to drive. Because it's got such a short wheelbase with so much going on inside of it. But okay, we are here. I think let's, let's get as, cl as close as we can. Bam, there we go. And extend. <laughs> Come on, you can fall down. Please fall down. Oh my god, there we go. Oh, and I forgot that I need to extinguish it. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot that. Okay, so we just need to add some water cannons onto this thing and we should be good. Water cannons for days. There we go. Look at that. Okay, now this... I, I'm, I'm feeling good. This definitely should have it. I got enough water cannons to extinguish it, hopefully. And I know I can knock it down now. Okay, nice and close once again. Bam! <laughs> I love pistons. I'm so sorry, guys. I, I, I know they're kind of the easy way out, but it's just so damn fun to do. Okay, so it's on the ground. Let's just pull back here. Oh, God, don't fall over. Please don't fall over. That would really suck right now. And over to the flame we go. Okay, put my butt on it and let this sucker go once I'm, you know, kind of sorted out here. There we go. All right. Extinguish that thing. Yes! Zone conquered. Oh, that felt good. That one was a little more challenging. It took me... Is that 48 minutes? Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. Raise and steal. I'm actually... Oh, man, you guys are gonna hate me if this works out. I'm really curious if I can just use these damn things to pull up on the side of this sword and then raise it right out of the ground. If this works, oh my god, like it just, everything about these new levels just worked out for me then. Okay, so there we go. And bam, oh my god, it works. Now what the hell am I supposed to do? Uh, how? Oh, I gotta bring it back. Okay, so we just add grabbers onto this thing, no big deal. I love how this design started out as a wall climber, and now look at it. It's just an everything design made to beat all of these maps. So let's do this again. Just gotta kind of squeeze it in there. Come on, get in there. All right, that actually, that, that might be good enough. Let's try it out here. Shit. Okay, so I definitely gotta get this set up right. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we got it again. Oh, shit, these, these grabbers might be too high. Now this is gonna be a problem. I also gotta get rid of these crystals, or these things... Easily. No, I actually got to break these. Oh my god. Okay, this is going to be a little bit more difficult than I expected. Done. Okay, there we go. Now my grabbers are a little lower now, so they should. If this thing can even be grabbed, I don't even know. Oh, it's looking like... Am I, am I attached? No, I'm not. Okay, so... Oh, oh, it doesn't attach, I don't think. Oh, shit. Let's see. Oh, wait, it does. Okay, so I can drag this around. Oh, God, I don't know if I should have did that now. I'm going to have a hard time breaking these things as well as driving around. Oh, yeah, this is just going fantastically. Okay, so obviously, first of all, we're going to want to break all of these, uh, as many crystals as we can anyways, so that way we can obviously pull this with ease. There we go. Just got to get one more, and then we should be good to drag this thing around. And we'll do that final one for good measure, just because I want nothing in my way. Oh, oh no, 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 don't do this to me. Don't you do this. Whole... Oh, wait, what if I... Oh, shit, this isn't... This isn't gonna work. Oh, no, please tell me. Wait, if I turn on my things now, can I... Can I just... Can we, can we just do this? <laughs> Will this work? Oh, my God. I have now become an inchworm. There we go. Oh, shit, no, 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 no. No, don't do this to me. I have worked so hard at getting rid of everything so it's easy to pull this thing over, and we are so damn close. Okay, I got a rocking motion going. I wonder if I can... Oh, no, this is not going to work. I'm trying so damn hard. If, if I could just push myself off something, I might actually be able to topple over, but it's looking like this probably isn't going to be working. Okay, let's try again here. At least I know it's pretty much going to work as long as I'm very careful and don't topple over because I don't guarantee that I'll be back on my wheels even with all these things going on on this creation. Okay, so let's just kind of squeeze in here. I think that actually was good enough. There we go. Bam. Break some more damn crystals and let's get this shit done. Okay, looks like that's pretty damn open now. Now, hopefully, I can just attach this. I'm going to assume it shouldn't be too hard to attach this thing. 
Oh, there we go. Look at that. And drag it down, and we are good. Come on, churn. I know it's a heavy sword, but we got this thing. Yes! Oh, my God, that felt good. Zone conquered. Only took me... Oh, it, it did only take me a minute 22, so the last time it only took me 43 seconds. Interesting. Well, guys, once again, we waited all this time for these new maps, and I have conquered them in one little episode. I hate that about this game. They're very slow at releasing new levels, but that's okay. Uh, with some great new levels, some very easy ones, some quite difficult ones as well. I enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. So once again, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.